Hello everyone, Jake here for FM Scout. Today we've got a video that I'm hoping will be of great use to you all. I've made different videos and 10 minute tutorials on different aspects of the game, scouting, transfers, training, tactics, we've done it all. But I thought today, why not cram in as many mini tips as I can in the space of a 10 minute video. I'm gonna be aiming for 20 tips and don't worry, my time hasn't started yet. I've got 20 things written down. I'm gonna go through them as quick as possible. Now, none of these are going to instantly win you 10 games in a row but if you combine all of the things that I say today it's definitely going to help your FM game and I think even if you're an experienced player there'll still be a handful of these tips that you've never even thought about using. So before we get ready to go I'm going to ask you guys smash that like button for me and if there's some tips in this video that you didn't know then hit that button it will really help in pushing the video out to more people and helping the channel do well. Subscribe if you haven't already for more tips like this. Let me know in the comments if there's any of these tips that you want more detail on. And the final thing, we'll be using my Aberdeen save here, which is a series I've got going on on my channel. If you find this video useful, I'd really appreciate if you come on over to my channel afterwards and hit that subscribe button. Check out the content. I'm sure you would enjoy it. But anyway, hopefully I can figure out how to put a timer on screen. If not, you'll have to time me yourselves. I'm going to go for 20 tips. So let's get started. Starting from the top, we're going to the home tab and in there, you'll see this section, the promises section. This will allow you to keep track of any promises that you've made for your players. I'm at the start of the season here, so there's nothing. But if you had made promises, you could find them all here. That way you don't forget and you don't upset any players by not keeping those promises. The next one is a very handy tip. If you're looking for some potential transfer targets, go to the competitions tab, choose a competition, whether it's yours or you want to search up the Premier League, whatever it might be, and then go to the news section and transfer rumors. Here you can see plenty of rumors about the league that you're in. Whether it's players being sold or players being bought, often you can look around here and find some players you might not have heard about. Let's take this guy, Cornelius Micho here. I can now scout him and see if he's any good. If you have a player in your team that you really like and you might be losing him or you're looking for a potential upgrade, there's a really quick way to find similar players to him. Go to the comparison section on your player, click find similar players and guess what? The game will bring you a bunch of players with similar qualities to the player that you're comparing. Maybe from here you can find a transfer target and the next player for you to buy. If you've got a player that you want to loan out or you want to sell but you just can't seem to get any bids and you just don't want to waste your time anymore offering them out every two days, well go to the transfer section. If you want to get rid of a player, use add to unwanted list. If you want to loan him out, put him to the development list. What this will do is the AI behind the scenes, your staff members will start to try and sort a move out for you based on the parameters that you give them. Sell for half value, sell at any price, sell for asking price, whatever it might be, they will try and help out with that without you doing anything on your end. If you get locked out of contract negotiations and you're unable to speak to your player like this, let's say this guy wants a contract here and we walk away. Because I've walked away from the contract, usually it's very hard to go ahead and renegotiate with that player for a little while. It will show up as red and they don't want to talk to you. However, you can resolve contract talks with the agent sometimes if you apologize. Sometimes it can work and you're able to then start negotiations again straight away. If you've got a player that you want to develop, you want to give them traits, train them for a new position or maybe focus in on a specific area of their game but you don't know what to do with them, then go to development, go to advice and your staff members can give you advice about the player, let you know how they're getting on, let you know if there's anything they should be coached in and even here it's saying that we might even be better off loaning him out. So you can get lots of information here. For the next tip, did you know that the squad planner isn't just good for seeing what kind of players you have in your team right now but also seeing how they might develop in the future? Take Jasper Torkelson here. He's a free star player. If we have a look next season, the game thinks he'll be three and a half. And after two seasons, it thinks he could be a four star goalkeeper, which we should, of course, bear in mind knowing how he might develop. That might now help because I might think, you know what, let's not recruit a goalkeeper. In a few years, he's really going to come into his own. The next one is a really handy section of the game that most people don't use. Go to Squad Planner, go to Experience Matrix, and you can get an idea of how experienced your squad is. You can see here we're lacking any players in the peak of their career or experienced players players and we might need to recruit in that sense to help these young players the development talents that are coming through. Also in the squad planner head over to the best 11 tab here you can see your best 11 for every single position your best player in each area but it also tells you the best young player you've got at the club as a whole in the academy or in the first team that will eventually take that position. For example apparently we've got a very good young centre back by the name of Luciano Motion. I can take a look at him now and see if maybe he's worth promoting to the first team. Also in the squad planner 
Asana, you can head over to the assistant report and get an idea about what your team is good at. But more importantly, you can find out what your weaknesses are and try and improve on them. Just a few tabs down from the assistant report is the comparison screen. This is handy for comparing you to other teams in your league. You can see we've got the youngest team in the league, but you can also find out areas where you lack. You can see if I go to the physical department, yes, we might be quicker than most teams, but actually we have really low natural fitness as a squad. And that might be something that we need to improve on. If you want a way to boost the player's morale without having to do anything too special, all you need to do is go to praise player and praise conduct. Now this will either work or have no effect for every player. It won't have a negative effect unless there's somebody who's been missing training or something, which doesn't happen often. So in this case, we can go ahead to the player, praise him for his conduct, and you'll see that he's encouraged by this. And sometimes it will improve the morale of the player. In the dynamics tab, if you go to the happiness section, you can get an early idea of any issues that are coming up at the club. It's always horrible when a player comes to you and demands a new contract, but we can get on top of that here by having a look to see if anybody's concerned or dissatisfied. We can find out why and try and prevent the issue before it comes a problem. Say Sergio Gomez is feeling he deserves a new contract. We can have a look into that, see if it's worth doing and hopefully prevent any major issue to his happiness. If you want a quick way to see if there's any major gaps in your tactic, go to the tactics screen, hit analysis, and it will give you an idea of any areas of the pitch that aren't being covered well enough. If there's a red color or an orange color in one of these boxes, it means that area of the pitch isn't being covered well enough and it might be something that you need to highlight and try and sort out. If you have a cup game coming up, you want to rotate your squad, but you can't be bothered to go in and switch every single player in your team manually. You can go over to this quick pick screen and instead of just clicking the button, hit the drop down arrow, click pick rotated squad and you can select a slightly rotated squad, a full rotated squad ready for your next game. And just like that, you can see we've got a whole new 11 to play our next match. In the data hub, if you go to the next opponent screen, you can get an idea of where that opponent might be weak and what they're lacking. Maybe you'll find out they're really weak in the air from corners or really good from corners and analyze that accordingly. And you can just find loads of great information, particularly if you've got an important match coming up, check out this next opponent screen because you might find the key to winning the game. If there's certain sections of the game that you don't like doing, whether it's the training side or the media, go to the staff section, go to the responsibilities and you can delegate these tasks. As you can see here, I do nothing media related. I let my assistant deal with all of the press conferences and I never have to do them. If you've got a transfer target and you want to turn his head to joining your club, something you can do to try and make him uncomfortable at his current club is to go to transfer, declare interest and then declare it as for transfer or as top target. What this will do is it will create a media article about the player. It will tell you if a player is looking to move and in this case he's extremely keen. So if we made a bid that didn't match Southampton's value of him and they rejected it, there's a good chance he'd kick up a fuss, get transfer listed and we'll be able to save some cash on him. Final two tips now, hopefully we're keeping under two minutes, but if you go to the direct with football tab in the transfer targets and then click suggest transfer targets, you can find players to sign for every position, whether it's on free contracts, loan or transfer. Your direct of football can give you some ideas of players to go for. And finally, in the transfer tab, particularly if you're taking over a new club, head to the clauses section and you can see some clauses with this money symbol on them. That means you can either buy the clause to save your club money in the long term if you think it makes sense, or sometimes you can sell a clause and make some quick cash. In this case, we can pay £3.58 million pounds to Benfica to take off the 50% of his next transfer fee. Maybe it's worth it, maybe it's not. You analyze it and you make up your mind. But there you go. Stop the clock. Hopefully that was under 10 minutes. That was 20 quick football manager tips. Hopefully you all found it useful. If you did, smash the like button for me. Let me know any tips that you would have added to the video down below or if you have any questions. But most of all, have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.